Hello friends, welcome to the Alpha Point. I'm Vishal and today I'm gonna show Samsung Galaxy Note 2 running Android 4.4 KitKat version with Omni's build latest version on 20 on 2nd December 2013. So let me show the embedded version here first. If you can see here the Android version 4.4, Omni version 4.4 2013 1202 that 90 build for the N7100 base band no version MJ9 based on the MJ9 version here so open the the easter egg of KitKat the new easter egg from uh, Android it is in Windows style in Windows 8 style or you can see the latest emojis here This has been changed completely, the user interface here. Now start with the lock screen feature. So first lock the screen here and see how the lock screen look like. You can see here the locks that just a new lock screen to open the to go to the home screen here. That's bar here, the circle bar that's rotate with your hand and just go out of circle and it will unlock your device you have here if you swipe from to left then you can see a time here with there is no uh, widgets added here but if you swipe right you will open the camera app here the camera is working fine here so this is camera of uh, in the KitKat version of Note 2 it is working fine here without any doubt and uh, everything works fine in this camera it is as same as in the Jelly Bean version of Android there is no user interface change in this camera and there is no any extra features added in this camera here now look at the home screen the new home screen for in Android 4.4 is there is no home screen as you can see there is one single home screen but you can add unlimited number of home screen in your device so to do that just go to app drawer and click on any app and just bring it down and go in your right and you can add an app there and there is a new home screen added automatically added here if you delete this icon here or app here just it will go into default home screen that's the first home screen here if you want to add more home screen you can add it here just go to here and there is one home screen added there if you want to add more then just open the app drawer and drag one app from there and you now you have three app drawer or three home screen right on your device the next feature here the notification now see how the notification look like I tried to beam out with NFC with my another HTC One X and it worked completely fine here the no problem there was no problem I would say the NFC is working fine the only problem that I face with this version is the uh, Wi-Fi tether is not working here the Wi-Fi tethering to my PC or to any other device is not working else that everything works fine here uh, Google app update you can delete uh, any app from the home screen but just by sliding there like in Nova launcher or any other launcher there that's cool here now see the notification here just click here and every uh, notification will go clean here like the clear list options from your gingerbread or uh, jelly bean click there and there is your panels here notification panel you can enable Wi-Fi enable data in auto rotate battery you can open the how the battery is using here if you click in date here it will open the calendar for you if you click here the in time it will clock open the clock here you don't need to search the clock in the app drawer you can go directly by there now look at the new keyboard in Android 4.4 so open a keyboard in the messaging app here 
open a new message and just try to write it down anything the you the looks as same as the jelly bean version but you can add here the emojis here the new uh, emotions here i would say you can add emotion in text in messaging app in any messenger you can add just fine here it works out of the box you don't need to download any other keyboard from the market just close it down now look at the new contacts app and the dial pad so open the dial pad here this is a new dial pad in the android 4.4 you can type the number here and you can add contacts with you you can see the history here all missed you can clear the locks here from here a new feature has been added in the contacts as you can see just press here and say any number one two one three five four as you can see one two one three five four has been added here you can add to contacts or you can just call there by clicking there you don't need to type all the numbers here you just go as quick as fast you can the new latest build has provided this to us a new feature has been added in android 4.4 is that like if you are using any app and you received a call at that time let's wait let me call here and it will not take the full screen here it will just take a small screen in the uh, bottom of your device let's see how it is look like like if you are using any messaging app or any app like you can see here someone is calling here and it just shows decline and answer and there is one photo of that person if you just assign any photo there so this option has been added in this android 4.4 kitkat version i just declined the call there is one option that dead call daydream in this option what it does just go to display and there is one daydream just select an option here so like it is showing a time here and date and maybe your notification if you have notification here and uh, it will show if you are charging your device or you're docking your device it will show this option there so let's move to the settings here and see what it has the wi-fi bluetooth data usage in more we have default messaging app you can select your default messaging app from there uh, mobile plan call cell broadcaster testing the testing is not working out of the box in this version we have to wait for the next version so that we can uh, tether our wi-fi data plan there is more bars and menus in this option you can change the look of the of your notification bar and the status bar of your device like if you want to add anything or network count speed indicator it will indicate how much speed it is using from the internet here you can show number of pending notification it will show the number of pending notification here there is no notification right now that's why it is not showing anything network indicator clear call button there will clear call button out there uh, there is no notif notification right now that's why it is not showing here but it will show in your device if you have now see what active display is active display is something like if you receive any notification like in messages or any if you have if you have any missed call or if you got any message from hangouts or google plus then it will show in your home screen without faking your screen it will just show a small icon type uh, notification in your home screen and if you just if you click there it will open the notification on the app that caused the notification to appear uh, there is one pocket mode option like if you no received a notification while your device in your pocket if you bring out your device it will show in your device screen that you have got notification by using it is using your sensor and it caused the battery life to drain quickly here there are the customization high priority sunlight in sunlight it will change the default color and uh, it will bring the high contrast color in your device you can change the settings here the sound display buttons 
in buttons you can change what your home button your what your back button what your call button all the button settings you can change what it does if you like if you want to long press your home key then what will do it will just switch the recent app i have set to switch the recent app just see what it does here it's just bring out the home screen here but that's a default here double try to double tap here it will just change from my gallery to my settings here as you can see just double tap your device you need to first set here what it does if you long press the back button here it will just kill the app i have just set it there you can change the custom actions here you can change the device to uh, wake your device by using your volume key the storage option battery options apps option uh, like your default notif settings from ice cream version there's no change out there and accounts system accessibility printing you can print any document right from your device here you don't need to move to the computer or pc and print your document from there there are many features that are not ported from the Nexus device to the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 like opening the Google now just by saying OK Google from your home screen it is not it doesn't work in this device I have tested it out completely but it doesn't work the battery life of this version of ROM uh, I would say is not very good and also not very bad it has a moderate, moderate battery life and you can use it daily it has no lag I would say just little lag sometimes you would face opening your dial pad or contacts and if you dial any number it will show a delay of two seconds or one second there and there is no problem opening the app or settings in your device and we need to wait for the future versions of the omni rom android 4.4 kitkat version so that we can use more functions and more applications and more features in this device so and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Just click here.